Hey everyone, I'm Mine, and this is set number 80038, Monkey Kid's Team Van from the LEGO Monkey Kid theme. This set contains 1,406 pieces, 6 minifigures, and retails for $129.99 in the US. So here is Monkey Kid's Team Van, and the box art for this set makes it look deceptively small. Because getting this all built up, this thing is massive. I was curious to see, like, how does this justify $130 for the price? Because just based on the box, I'm like, that looks like a $60, $70 set. But based on the piece count and the price, I was like, okay, it's got to be bigger than it looks, right? And having it in hand, yup, it absolutely is. This thing is massive. If you guys have or have seen the Pigsy's Food Truck set, this is in a very similar scale to that. Not exactly the same size, but it feels like they would go together pretty well. But obviously, unlike Pigsy's Food Truck, this one has multiple crates stacked on top of it, making it very tall. So it all comes out to an overall very massive set, but I genuinely love it for what it is. So let's take a look up a little closer. First, it's split into two sections. It looks like three sections, but it's actually two. We have the van itself, and then we have the two crates on the top. The two crates aren't able to separate from each other, but they are both able to separate from the actual van. And to do that, it's very easy. You just snap them off the top, and you can put them off to the side. But now taking a look at the van itself up close, you can see this looks complete even without the crates on top. A lot of times sets that separate, like it's cool that they separate, but then the pieces seem incomplete without everything there. But no, if they sold this as a set on its own, I would entirely believe that makes sense. Because yeah, this looks very finished. The actual body of the vehicle is held pretty high up by the wheels. And you can see there's even this little step on the side for the minifigures to be able to get up. It looks like there's a little curtain in the window for Sandy. And if you want to open the van up, you could just pull it right here. Same thing on the other side. You can see this side has a little sticker on it. This is Heart Mo. And on this side, you have a few more seats. Moving towards the back, there's one more sticker right here. As well as a little surfboard right here. And one in the trunk right here. And the trunk is also able to open up. You can just flip it down. And there you can see there's a little side build stored inside. This is like a tiny little go-kart for Monkey Kid. And this is cute. It gives him a vehicle to drive that isn't this giant thing if you want to like send him out on his own. But there's not much to it. This could be a poly bag build on its own. No complaints for me though. It is good for what it is. Just very simple. You can see in the back here, that's where that's stored. There's also plenty of room if you want to store more minifigures or whatnot. As I mentioned on the one side, there are seats for minifigures to sit. There's also a few clips on the wall where you can store their accessories when you're not using them. And there's also this little Technic build underneath the seats, which if you push in on this, that actually opens this other door and brings out this little turret. This turret has a Pigsy logo on it, a little stud shooter, as well as a seat for a character to sit. So you can have Pigsy sitting here when he's actually riding the vehicle, and then when trouble comes, you can actually have him launch out of the vehicle right here and control the turret from the outside. And so it's cool, it's a double function. It's interior seating as well as being a mounted weapon. I like that a lot. There's a few sticker pieces on the interior. That looks like it's a little TV up there. And that one looks like some sort of gauge detecting, I don't know what. And then on the inside of this wall, there's two more sticker pieces. This looks like a targeting computer, and that is, I don't know, a YouTube video? I can't exactly tell. Now, all those places are places the vehicle is supposed to open, like, that the characters can get to. However, there is one more place it can open up, and this is for ease of access for you. And that is the top of the vehicle. You can take the roof off. This gives us a good look at the front seats, where you can see you have a driver's seat and a passenger seat. The passenger seat has a little frog in front of it. There's a little plant right here. There's a steering wheel, obviously, on the driver's side, as well as a little water bottle. And you can actually have the characters access this by opening these little doors right here. I guess you can imagine them jumping up here, and then to this ladder, and then into the vehicle. And there's a matching door on the passenger side as well. And then finally, here's the very front. You can see there's a Monkey Kid logo right there. And honestly, I think this build overall is very fun. Obviously, it's massive. But I think there's a ton of fun to be had to play with, and it actually looks really good too. There's how it looks on the bottom if you're curious. Not the prettiest, but obviously you're not going to be looking at it from the bottom that much. Oh, and I guess I didn't mention the exhaust at the back, but these are pretty cool. I really like the smoke coming out. But yeah, I think that's about it for the actual van, so I think now we can move on to the crates that go above it. So here's the double crate build, and this is probably my favorite part of the set. We have the teal crate, which is cat-themed, and then the yellow crate, which doesn't seem to have one specific theme. But the cat mo themed crate right here is so funny. I love the giant printed mo face right here. That's an awesome part. It's genuinely so goofy, and you have the brick-built collar and the brick-built mohawk. Then there's the tiny little cat hands on the sides cat tail coming out the back, and then there's also ways to actually scale this build. So if you get on from the roof of the truck, you can come up to this platform right here, you have a few boxes of Pigsy's Noodles, that leads you up to this ladder right here in this little walkway, and that leads you into the door with the yellow crate, where you can see there's a little grill out front as well as an advertisement for Pigsy's Noodles, or alternatively on the other side, it looks like you have a little rock climbing wall right here, so that's another way I guess you can scale up. There's also a little cat door out the very back, which is the perfect size for Mo to squeeze through. Speaking of Mo, this is the version of Mo with the fanny pack and glasses that was previously exclusive to Sandy's mech. It's cool to see they're re-releasing an exclusive figure, but it does make that set a little less special now. I think I would have preferred just a normal Mo for this set, but I'll take another one of these guys because they are very goofy. 
Anyway, if you manage to get to the very top of the yellow crate, you can see there's just an area to relax up here. Lots of studs to post figures, a little chair with an umbrella. There's a tiny little pole right here that Mo can fit in pretty well. There's some plants growing out the side and a little telescope that you can look out. And that's about the gist of the exterior. However, of course, there is more inside, and there's a few different ways to get in. So for one, you saw that door right there. You saw the cat door for Mo. There's this gray door on the side which you can open up. And then the outside of the yellow crate can also be hinged down. And then the easiest way, you can just open the entire thing up. But the easiest way is you can just open the entire thing up. With it all open, now you can actually see what's in each crate. In the Mo crate, there's just a ton of casual activities. You have this ping pong table right here, which can be removed. You can place that anywhere you want. You can see it comes with two paddles and a ball. That's a lot of fun to like imagine things that you can do with that. And it's cool that they have a way to store it, even though it's not actually attached to anything. There's also an arcade cabinet right here, which can also be removed. You can see it's this cloud racer on both sides. And there's a steering wheel at the front, which if you turn it, you can actually see there's a little roller skate piece on the inside that you can imagine as a car, and you can imagine that you're actually driving this down the street. That's a lot of fun. I actually love that there's a motion aspect to this build. Makes it more interesting than some of the other arcade cabinets we've gotten. And then there's a little plant growing on the side. In the center, you just have two bowls with food and water for Mo. And then on the other side, you have a little basketball hoop right here. You do have to tuck it away to close it up like you just saw, but you can spin it out if you want. And you can imagine this orange ball piece is a basketball and have your characters play with it. And then there's also a little cat tower right here for Mo. Yeah, this entire bottom section is very cozy. I wish there was a little bit more room to actually put figures in here. It seems to mostly be for storage, but that's okay, because as I said, you can take these out and put them elsewhere. It's just fun that they're included. Then coming up to the yellow crate, it looks like you have a little kitchen for Pigsy right here. Lots of different food accessories and whatnot, including this little crate, which has a mooncake inside. There's a secret piece on the wall, which includes like a little picture of Pigsy and another pig. And then coming to the other side of the yellow crate, this is a little workstation for May. You have some tools on the side, including this coffee mug, which looks like it's supposed to be a drill. There's a secret computer console piece for her little dragon flyer. And you can see that dragon flyer is what comes out when you open up that wall over there. But you can close it back up to store it in here. Taking it out though, there's a look at her dragon horse flyer. And it's far from the prettiest dragon horse flyer she's gotten. But it's okay for what it is. But yeah, I would not say this one looks the best. It just seems kind of flat. But I guess it's intentionally designed that way to fit into this build, so I don't mind that too much. There's a stickered part in the forehead, too. And then one final thing in this part of the build is these spring-loaded shooters. You may have noticed in the center of the teal crate there's some sort of technic thing, and that's actually incorporated with the spring-loaded shooters. So you open up this Mo face right here, there you can see the spring-loaded shooters, and if you push down on Mo's little hands on the sides, they'll shoot out. That's super fun, I love the way that opens up. And if you actually imagine this vehicle like traveling and fighting things as it goes, this is a second way to attack other than the turret for Pigsy. But I think that's about it for the main build of the set, so now let's move on to the side build and then the minifigures, and then I'll give you my overall thoughts. The one and only side build in the set is this little tuk-tuk for the Shadow Monkeys. This build is cute, it's not the type of vehicle I'd expect them to have, and because of that I actually kind of love it seeing this like ominous shadowy color scheme used on a tuk-tuk. But I mean, it's cute, you can fit one Shadow Monkey in the driver's seat and probably one on the back. It has room to store a stud shooter for him, but there's not much else to say. You can see it's got Macaque's logo at the front, red stripe coming down the top, but there's not a ton to say about it. Very simple little build. Happy it's included though, no complaints for me. So here are the first two minifigures in the set, we have Monkey Kid and we have May. Monkey Kid comes with the blue fire ring as an accessory, and then they both come with their standard staff and sword. Now the figures themselves are pretty much mostly their figures from earlier this year, so I don't have a ton to say about them because I have reviewed them before. In short though, these are easily the best versions of May and Monkey Kid we have ever gotten. Love the dragon face coming down May's torso and the legs, while they're not nearly as detailed as the torso, do look good as well. Monkey Kid has arm printing, which is very cool. He does lose the side leg printing. However, you could very easily combine the new figure with the old figure to make it all extra detailed. I love the teal used in his torso someone on his legs though. It's like the perfect splash of color. And while I'm not the world's biggest fan of the headphone piece, I think it's okay and you can very easily take it off if you want. However, something cool about this Monkey Kid figure is he does have an all new face print. This face print comes in two sets this wave, and it's similar to the one he had in the Fire Ring set from earlier this year. However, that one had a red visor, this one has a blue visor. And the blue visor is a different look, but it looks very cool. It doesn't necessarily fit his color scheme. I think it works better than the other set that it's used in, but it's still a cool alternative to have. And if you turn him around, you can see his alternate face and back torso print. He's got a very confident smile on his alternate face as well as like some dirt on his face. And then more of that heel is used around the back. There's a look at May's back torso print as well. Let me take this hair piece off so you can see her back face print. Not a huge fan of this face print for May. Like it's a really good expression, but I hate how this is the only face print she gets nowadays. It was a nice face print to like mix things up, but we really need the old one back because she deserves more expressions than just this one. I also wish she came with her helmet in this set, because she only has her hair, and they've been doing that this year, which I don't really like. Back in the first few waves, every set would come with her hair and her helmet, so it's a little lame that they reduced it down to just her hair. 
There's a full look at her back torso print though. The next two minifigures in the set are the minifigure form of Sandy as well as Pigsy. Again, just like Mike Kid and May, neither of these guys are new for this set. However, they are both pretty good figures. The minifigure scale Sandy is still so strange to me, like it's so odd that we had him as a big fig for years and they just switch him to a minifigure randomly. It's a good thing because that means he could come in more sets now, but it's so strange just like knowing the size he is in the show, it doesn't really make sense for him to be a minifigure. Regardless though, I think the minifigure is good enough. I don't think the beard is perfect, I don't think the mohawk is perfect, but the torso and legs are pretty good and the leg piece is special I feel like it'd be useful for customs and whatnot I really like the side leg printing and everything the magenta printing looks really cool too and I do love the overall color scheme and everything just yeah it's still so strange seeing this guy in minifigure form in terms of accessory it comes with a little brick built hand crossbow and it's rare we see crossbows nowadays that aren't the stud shooter crossbows so it's cool to see them switch things up and I actually think this is a pretty cute build and then Pigsy is pretty similar to every other Pigsy minifigure we've gotten. This is him in like his battle armor, and it's cool to get that version again, but I don't have a ton to say about him. There's a look at their back torso prints, and there's a quick look at Sandy with his beard removed. And then the final two minifigures in the set are two shadow monkeys. These guys are exactly identical to each other, and I have mixed opinions on them. I think the red and black aesthetic is absolutely awesome. They did a great job with the torso design here, and I love the way like the smoke curls off the torso and the little macaque logo on the chest. However, the unprinted legs really take away from the look of these guys. Because the torso and head and everything looks so great and the legs just being so plain, I don't know, it kind of ruins it for me. I also wish there was some variation between them because every single one is the same and they come in so many sets. So yeah, getting them in yet another set's not that exciting. If you don't have them yet, I guess it's cool to get, but if you already do, there's no point in getting more. In terms of accessories, this guy has a little saw blade, and this one comes with a little stickered map to the three fire rings. These stickered like map scrolls come in quite a few sets, but they're always cool to get. And there's a quick look at the back torso print, which honestly looks fantastic. And of course, no alternate faces on these guys. So yeah, not the most interesting minifigures in the world, but if you want to army build these guys for some reason, this is a nice way to add to it. Not much else to say on them, though. And so, what are my overall thoughts on this set? I'm surprised to say I like this set a lot. I think this set functions best as a starter set, meaning that, like, if you don't have any LEGO Monkey Kid sets and you've been considering getting one, this is a great set to start with, because in terms of minifigures, you get the entire main cast here except for Tang. You get two villains for them to fight, and the build is both a playset base for you to play in as well as a vehicle. So it has multiple uses, and I feel like you get a lot here. However, if you're someone who has collected a lot of Monkey Kid, I feel like this is one of the less interesting sets. I still maintain that the build itself is very good, and more unique than some of the other just like Monkey Kid colored vehicles we've gotten. I especially, again, like that Mo Cray, it's so adorable. But the minifigure selection here really could be better, like no interesting figures at all. All of them come in much more common, much cheaper sets. So if you're a longtime Monkey Kid collector, I don't think you need this one. However, I don't think you'll be super disappointed by the build. It is still pretty good. But if you're new to LEGO Monkey Kid and you just want to get one set because you like the show or whatever, I think this is a perfect set to start with. But those are just my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think of this set in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please press like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. I do LEGO videos just like this one almost every day. So if you subscribe, be the first to see them. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!